Hi everyone, Stefano here from SotoZen channel. Welcome to this new video. I will show you how to make this kind of cool sci-fi scene. And this won't be only about 3D animation in Blender this time. In fact, we will combine different techniques such as green screen filming, 3D camera tracking, VFX compositing, color grading and more. We are going to find out some powerful way to combine Blender 3D and Adobe After Effects. We have a lot to talk about, so I decided to separate this project into different videos and in this first part I will focus on the tracking process. But before we start, I would like to remind you to visit my Patreon page. As you probably imagine, making this kind of video is very time consuming and in order to be able to make more of them in the future, any kind of financial support by you is very, very important to me. By visiting my page, you will find out all the benefits that you will get if you decide to become a pattern of mine. So thanks in advance, even only for taking this into consideration and let's get started with this new tutorial. So let's open After Effects. We want to import our background video. And if you want to use this same video in order to better follow my tutorial, you can get this clip joining my Patreon page. I filmed this in Hong Kong a few years ago using a DJI Phantom 4. Once imported my clip, I scaled it down 50% in order to fit into my HD project. Then I adjusted the starting point and ending point of the clip and I also rotated it a bit to adjust its horizon level. And I finally exported the composition as a quick time. And now we want to create a new composition based on this file that we just created. And we can start tracking our camera and in After Effects this is very easy. Just click on track camera here and if you don't see this panel for some reason, go here under the window menu and be sure to enable tracker. I also check this detailed analysis option under the advanced menu and after that, as you can see, it's only a matter of waiting for the software to finish its magic stuff. And while we are waiting, let me tell you something about tracking. First of all, what is it? Camera tracking allows us to convert all the movements that we made with our real camera into 3D coordinates. At the end, we will have a 3D camera moving exactly like the real one. And this is essential in projects like this one because later we will want to insert some CGI element like our spaceship here. Now, also Blender can handle the camera tracking process very well, only it's a little bit longer there and you have to do some stuff manually like placing the tracker and also you have to deal with more parameters. So the reason why I choose After Effects instead of Blender is only because with some basic camera movement like this one in After Effects is way more easy and fast. And once done, we ended up with these uh, markers all around your scene. And if you try to over with your mouse, you can see this graphic circle showing you the perspective that's being calculated in this area. Now you want to select some of these markers and convert them into a plane. And in my case, I decided to lasso select all these area because I know that they are all at the same level. And in this way, hopefully, I give more information to the software to create the plane more precisely. So let's right click and select create solid and camera. Now you can see that both the elements has been added to our composition. We have the camera itself and this solid layer. If you try to play your animation, our solid is following properly and nicely our animation, so everything is working good so far. And now I will add a grid effect to my solid. And to do this very quickly, I use the FX console by Video Copilot. But if you don't have this installed, you just have to go under this uh, effects window here, search for generate and then choose grid. In this way we can easily see what's going on and I just want to adjust the rotation 
of this solid in order to be uh, better fit into the perspective lines of this uh, rooftop car park that we have here. I also scale it in order to be a little bit bigger and then I create a second one in the area where our green screen action will be placed later. One good tip here, don't try to fix the rotation of the second solid layer manually. Instead, copy and paste the orientation for the first one. In this way, you'll be sure that both of the two planes will have the same uh, orientation. Good, now we need to import these elements inside Blender. To do this, we will use this good plugin AE to blend. You can find this on Blender Market for a reasonable price. And even if it's not so well rated, I personally think that's working great. I use it many times on different projects and it always gave me perfect results. The only downside of this is that for some reason, I don't know why, but they never updated this product since the version 2.8 and this means that we will have to use blender 2.8 only for the importing process and then we'll have to append into the latest version of blender our scene and as you can see i have my plugin already installed in this version of blender i want to select everything and delete all then i will create a new window here i need uh, graph editor. Now what I have to do is to switch back to After Effect, select my camera and then pressing P and then Shift R I will get access to the position and orientation keyframes that has been created during the tracking process. Back in Blender all I have to do is to click on this Create Camera and you can see that the animation curves are added to my graph editor. Let's just also uh, enter the end frame for our scene, create a new window here that we will use as a camera view. You can do this pressing number zero on your numpad. Now one important thing to know to understand better how this plugin is working is that it creates this simple hierarchy and the animation is not on the camera object itself but it is in the parent object. Now in order to see what's happening so far, let's import our background video also here in Blender. And this is the point where many get stuck with this plugin. Some of you asked me in one of my previous tracking tutorials about this part, so I will try my best to be uh, specific in these details here. If you look at our grid floor, everything is off and doesn't seem working yet. I mean the camera is moving so something is going on but we have to import from uh, After Effects one of our solid layer in order to understand what's going on here. So in After Effects I want to select my solid layer, choose the position, scale and orientation value, Ctrl C to copy them into clipboard and then I create a plane. You can see that now we have our element in the Blender scene and let me select the camera and here choose this Passepartout option in order to better see my camera frame. Let's now go back to After Effects and do the same process for this second solid layer. Position, rotation and scale, Ctrl C and then back to Blender and then create another plane. And finally, we have all our elements in Blender, but if we play our video, nothing is working. Does this mean that the plugin doesn't work? Well, no, we still have to do something very important. In fact, until now, we only imported animation data, but Blender still doesn't have a clue about the focal length of the camera. Let's fix this going back into After Effects selecting our camera layer and entering its property page we want to copy the focal length and insert this value into our blender camera and as you can see now all the object just snaps into the right place and if we play the animation now they are following really nicely and in a very good way 
One last thing we have to do now to avoid problems later, I want these planes to be aligned with my Blender grid floor. So let's make this big plane here become the parent object of all the others, camera included. So let's select all of these and then lastly this parent object here and then Ctrl P to set parent to the object. Now I can easily rotate this to align the entire hierarchy to my 3D world and you can see that nothing is happening in the camera view. Now let's change the viewport display option to wireframe and to end this stage let's rename this collection to something proper like tracking object and then we can save and close this old version of Blender to switch to the latest that in my case is the Blender 2.92. So now press A to select all. We want to delete all the default object from our scene and then file, append and search for our Blender 2.8 project, browse to the collection folder and then append this tracking object collection. So if we now enter our camera view pressing zero on the numpad, you see that all is working fine. We only have to update the background video, so select the camera and let's do that. And finally, we have our tracked scene in Blender 2.92. Okay guys, let's stop here with this first part. I really hope you enjoyed this video and in the next one, I will import and animate the spaceship and then we will have also to integrate the green screen actions, so we still have a lot to do. Please let me know in the comments if you are enjoying this video, if you like this idea, and if you have any kind of question, I will be so happy to try my best to answer them. So thanks so much for watching, and see you very soon with the second part. Stefano here from Sotozen Channel. Have a great day. Ciao.